Before we go, I've got to tell. I'll tell you my Bono story. Oh, you, you made Bono. Well, it's huge. It's not just meeting him. It's a massive, huge story that I'll tell my children <sighs> and my grandchildren. Okay, please tell me the Bono story. I, I got a message in London when I was on tour that one of you two was going to ring me. My manager was was told a member of you two wants to talk to Jason, and John was like, "Oh, okay, which one?" And they went, "We we, we can't tell you that." He went, why not? And they went, well, you two have this protocol that we're not allowed to say who's going to ring. And we were going, well, why would, what the, f-? okay. <laughs> so I'm walking along the street in London, yeah. actually in Shepherd's Bush, I remember. And the phone rings. I went, hello? And all I heard was, Jason Ben. <laughs> I went, hello? He goes, it's Bono. I went, Bono? <laughs> <laughs> and I know, you know, we know Bono's voice, especially if you're from, mm-hmm. definitely Bono. It's yeah. clear as day. And I went, oh my God. I says, Bono, how are you? He goes, I'm good, Jason. He's fucking nuts. Like, he's brilliant. He's good fun, nuts. You know that kind of way? Yeah. So he goes, listen, Jace, listen, Jace, JC, Jace, JC, Jace, Jace, Jace. <laughs> like all this, like he's fucking mad. He goes, I want you to do, uh, listen, I'm having a party for my best friend. Uh, because uh, there was a band in Dublin called the Virgin Prunes. And they were like a rival band to you too. But they were all best friends. And they all got on with each other. So it just so happened that you two did really well and Virgin Prunes didn't do so well. Right? Yeah. And um, so they, they uh, looked... I'm just kind of, hang on, I need to just look up something because I need to just find out where exactly, just one second, where they all hung out. Um, uh, hang on a second. Yeah, got it. So they all kind of hung, hung out in Ballymun, the whole lot of them. They were all from quite a rough area. Mm. But they made up this own, their own little society, Bono and all these guys. Yeah. So he's, Bono says to me, my friend Gavin Friday from the Virgin Prunes. Remember Gavin went, yeah, it's his birthday but it's a surprise because he loves you and I want you to do a gig for me. And I says, oh, where? And he says, oh, it's in a restaurant. It'd be cool. I went, Bono, I'm not doing a fucking gig in a restaurant. <laughs> and he went, oh, it'd be cool, man. Don't worry. So in talking about Bono, we're talking about Tommy Tiernan, talking about comedy. And at the very, I says, so Bono, will there be lights and a stage at least? He goes, man, it's you too, Jason. Lights and stage. <laughs> no problem. So I'm having a great laugh with him. And he says, listen, man, you're going to knock the park out of the ball. Right. And, you know, the phrase is you'll knock the, the ball out of the park as in a baseball. You hit the baseball yeah. out of the park. Yeah. yeah so that's yeah. a phrase. You'll knock the ball out of the park. Yeah. He just kept saying, you'll knock the park out of the ball. He just <laughs> thought it was funny. Right. And then the very last thing he said in the phone before he went, he went, right, I better go now. And he goes, goodbye, yellow brick road and hung up. Right. <laughs> so next time I, I go to this restaurant and oh, my God. There's people standing, walking around. They're all at food tables. This guy stops me, who's like, you know, Bono's PA, and says, look, uh, Gavin's down the end there. We're just going to give you this mic, and then you're just going to stand there in the middle of the room. and just." Oh, my God, the hell. I said, what the fuck, right? So um, I'm standing there, whatever, whatever's going on. Now, Bono's there, and all of you two, The Edge, Larry, all of them. There's also Neil Jordan, who's a big director. Yeah. There's um, the Cores, the band, the Cores. Mm-hmm. There is fucking Killian Murphy. I don't even know Killian. Killian is um, from Peaky Blinders. He's a big oh. actor. He's a Hollywood actor now. Yeah. They're all in the room, right? And this guy goes out to the mic and goes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, everyone. And it's Gavin's birthday. We've got a big surprise. God's favorite comedian is Jason Byrne. And the minute he said that, everybody in the room sat down on the, at their tables, turned around, put their drinks down, and just went like this. Dead silence. Oh, my. Dead God. silence. Right? Because, and this is what I found out afterwards, they're all artists. They're all musicians. Yeah. They're all fucking actors. And they understood, hang on a fucking second. This guy's going to try and make us laugh in this room where we're going to fucking behave ourselves. Yeah. And it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I looked over to the left and Bono just winked at me like that. And I went, and I went, listen. And I, the way I got them was, I said, first thing, everybody, Bono rang me to ask me to do this gig for Gavin Friday. Now, first of all, 
I'm looking at Gavin's face and I'm thinking, I said Ed Byrne Bono, you fucking idiot, not Jason <laughs> Byrne. <right? laughs> so they all started laughing away. <laughs> and then I said, and I'll give you another laugh, everybody. I said to Bono, will there be a stage and lights at the gig? And they couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Right? Because they all knew that Bono is never going to organise oh, your fucking stage right. in life. No, he's ever done that in his life. So I do the gig. I'm supposed to do 10 minutes. I do half an hour. They are crying laughing. Like, I am doing so well. So I said, listen, thanks a million. Happy birthday, Gavin. And they all just stood up and clapped and cheered. Oh, and, my God. And so I turned around and went to the bar. And as I go to the bar, the edge comes up straight to me. You know the edge? <laughs> and the edge do I know the edge? He, he grabs me by the face and he just kisses me on the forehead and he goes, Jason, I am so sorry. Bono is a prick for doing that to you. I can't believe I'm so, he's such an arsehole. Lights and sound, because he doesn't even know what fucking lights and sound are, right? And so he's going, thank you for Gavin. He says, really from the bottom of my heart, you're so nice for doing that. I says, no problem, no problem. I, love, I says, this is an amazing room to be in. And then all I see is this, little man coming towards me and he's pushing people aside and it's Bono. And yeah. Bono just points at me. He doesn't even say hello to the edge. He goes, you are coming with me now, right? So <laughs> I went, sat down with Bono and Killian and all different on the course. And Bono just put his arm around me, got me a drink and we spoke so heavily about our fathers, about our past in Dublin for an hour I had with Bono. I says, Bono, this is so fucking freaky. You're probably the most famous person in the world. I'm just sitting here having a drink. He goes, he goes, no, nah, I'm just a person. I'm just a bloke. His real name is uh, Paul. He goes, I'm just Paul sitting here. These are all my friends. And he says, and thank you so much for doing that for me. I said, no, nah, no problem. So after the hour was up, we, I, you know, we're mingling. I'm hanging out with Killian. But let, I got to tell this, to just finish this off because we're nearly there. But Killian Murphy, who a lot of people listening to this will know who he is, and The Edge and me, yeah, the yeah. three of us are in a circle. Yeah. And, Ki and the edge says, so Killian is world famous. And Killian doesn't realize how famous, he's very modest. Yeah. And Killian says, uh, oh my God, I love you too so much. And like, at this stage, they're friends of Killian. They know him years. And the edge goes, well, do you want to hear something, Killian? What? We're making a new album. And Killian goes, oh my God, you're joking. Oh my God, are you? Oh my God, tell me everything. I mean like fucking everything. Every single fucking tune. Tell me, tell me, tell me, right? And so the edge is going, well, I've just been messing about my guitar with this tune. And he was just telling about a tune. And then Killian said the best thing to the edge. One of the best guitarists that ever lived. He said, oh, wow. He says, Sam, do you practice like every day? Do you practice like every day? And the edge looked at Killian and went, what do you mean practice the guitar? He goes, I think I know how to play the guitar, Killian. <laughs> Killian went, oh no, I didn't mean that. He goes, and Killian looks at me and goes, oh my God, Jason, the edge. does he practice his guitar? Oh my God. So, so I left all over, all done, gone. Most surreal night of my life. And then it was all about the fee. What do you charge somebody who books you for that? Who's world famous and one of the richest men in the world. Well, do you want money from him or do you want him to owe you a favor? Favor, of course. Favor. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't charge him any money for that. Oh. And uh, I got a card then. Uh, well, not even a card. I got a drawing off Bono, like a drawing mm -hmm. of his head. And on the back it said, well done, Jason. You knocked the park out of the ball. And he gave me a crate <laughs> of wine. And the wine, I, I was going, oh, that looks, oh, that's good. Nice, like 12 bottles of wine in a wooden box. So I, I didn't really know the wine. I looked it up and the wine is worth 6,000 euros. The wine oh. is worth 6,000 euros. And did you drink it? No fucking way. No, it's going to be keeping it from my kids. Bono will kill me if he finds out I didn't drink it. Don't make sure you fucking drink that now. And the last <laughs> thing before we go was Chris Evans is a massive radio host in mm -hmm. England. Yeah. He owns Virgin or he used to own Virgin Radio 1 and all this shit. He's a stunning yeah. fella. And he loves me. I always go on his radio show because I always take the piss out of him. I don't let him get away with anything. Yeah. And he, so he likes that because he's, he's covering the yes men. So I said I was going to do a gig for Bono. Literally that, that gig was going to be in two days. And he goes, oh my God, Jason. And so when he says, I want to tell you something off air. So the show ended. He went, when I was in the south of France with Bono, me and Bono and Gavin Friday, the guy that I was doing the Berti for, yeah. they were in his villa and they ran out of brandy. And Bono went, it's okay, let's get in my boat. There's, a, there's a, an American naval boat out there. They know me, they'll have brandy. 
<laughs> so they went out on a speedboat towards a fucking warship and Bono, they got right up to the edge of it and Bono got a, it was wood, his, his oar and started beating the side of the ship going, <laughs> give us brandy! Give us brandy! And fucking the lights all went on them. They actually lowered down another little small and put loads of guns on them. And then they went, what do you, okay, what do you do? What are you beating? Where are you from? And, 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 and apparently Chris Evans said, all I could hear was, it's okay, it's Bono. I've no brandy. <laughs> And apparently the American went, oh, for fuck's sake, Bono, just fucking go home. And Because he, he must have been doing that messing out there loads. And he went mm. back home. Mm. So when I was sitting with Bono, I said, Bono, Chris Evans told me this story. Is it true? Is it made up? Because I thought Chris made up. And Bono yeah. went, yep, that's true. I hit the side of a boat with a fucking oar trying to get a <laughs> bottle of brandy off it. Oh, my God. That's, that's a brilliant story. I know. Uh, I got a 